Surveillance video shows the moment Oxnard police officer Daniel Anse shot 30-year-old Joel Tapia Jr. It was Sunday evening. Officer Anse was making his rounds at this mobile home park. He was looking for Tapia, a known criminal with an outstanding warrant. Assistant Police Chief Eric Sonsigar describes what went down. Once he sees Mr. Tapia, he's only a few feet away from him, so he chooses to make contact with him at that point and um, decides to take him into custody, and that's when the physical altercation began. The chaos moves to the street. That's when Tapia's family comes outside. You can hear the family trying to get him to stop, but the brawl continues. As he would try to reach for that taser, Mr. Tapia would, would pull the officer's wrist away and was kind of uh, um, not allowing him to access those tools. At one point, the suspect turns the officer on his back and starts punching him multiple times. And at this time, Officer Anse's gun has dislodged from his holster and it's uh, now sitting next to him. So it's kind of like the officer needs to get to it before Mr. Tapia gets to it. It was then Officer Anse shot the suspect in the arm. <laughs> After a couple more punches, Tapia takes off to his home. SWAT is called to the scene, and after multiple attempts to get him to surrender, officers make entry to the home and arrest him. He has several prior arrests for either resisting the efforts of an officer or uh, fighting with police officers. We're very aware of his history.